Now, your exclusive Storm Team forecast from KTVO. Good Sunday night to you, Heartland. It is clear and 70 degrees in Kirksville. Winds are coming from the north at 5 miles per hour. Humidity is at 97 percent with a dew point at 69. In Ottumwa, it is also clear with 70 degrees. Winds are coming from the north northeast at 5 miles per hour. Humidity is at 87 percent with a dew point at 66. We woke up to finally some much needed rain here in the Heartland. All across the Heartland, we got anywhere from an inch and a half to two inches of rain, much needed rain that we needed. Not enough to help us with the drought, but good enough to help us with whatever we need to keep our grasses and our plants green. So good, much needed rain. Right now, all we have is just some clouds behind the system, and we could see some patchy fog as we head into the overnight hours tonight. So it's going to be partly cloudy for the most part with the low of 66 degrees with light winds. Now this is the cold front that is responsible for giving us all the rain that we have been needing here in the heartland is unfortunately moving south of us and allowing for high pressure to set in and it's going to stay that way as we head into all of this upcoming work week, all we're going to see is just some dry, sunny, and warm conditions with this high pressure system. So for tomorrow, sunny skies and warm with a high of 86 degrees with north winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. Then tomorrow night, we're going to see mostly clear skies, and it is going to be mild with a low of 64 degrees with light winds. Now, of course, let me also tell you about what's going on. We have a car show at the American Gothic House in Eldon, Iowa on August 28th at 10 a.m. Now, the big weather story across the country is, of course, Tropical Storm Isaac. It just barely missed the Florida Keys by less than 100 miles, and it's making its way into the Gulf of Mexico, and it is set to hit the Louisiana coast sometime late Tuesday into Wednesday as a Category 2 hurricane. Now, forecast models for now are showing that if Isaac keeps itself together as it makes landfall, it could possibly have enough moisture to give more rain to the heartland next weekend. But right now, it's too early to tell if we're going to see any more rain chances. It is a wait-and-see situation. We will be keeping you updated as we head into the work week. But as of right now, as you can see in your five-day extended forecast, all we're going to have is just some sunny skies and high temperatures in the low 90s through Friday. And don't forget, you can always get your weather 24-7 at HerlandConnection.com. Thanks, Vanessa, for that report. We'll keep an eye on that storm. All